hello, I am going to show you a few simple ways that you can learn how to do the crow pose. So most of the time we go to a yoga class and we are on our mat and we're trying to do the crow pose. First few tips is try not to place your arms on the outside of, or your legs on the outside of your arms. Place the knee as close to the underarm as you can into the tissue between the elbow and the underarm. So yes, it's going to be painful. I'm not saying this is gonna be easy, but your body gets used to pressing your knee into your arm. It's just sensitive because you're not used to pushing anything into that area of your body. So in the beginning, it's gonna feel uncomfortable. But practicing toughens up your skin. So if you can sit in a squat position and you can bring your knee anywhere above your elbow, then you can do crow. So your hands go on the floor, your knees go into that tissue in between your elbows and your underarms. You wanna press your hands into the floor, lift your butt up off of your legs, lean forward so you're pushing into that spot, and yes, it's gonna slide down. Hopefully not all the way off of your arm. So press, Lean, lift your toes or your heels up so you're on your toes. Lift your chin, then look as far forward as you can. So you don't, you don't want to be looking under you or down. You're looking forward ahead of your face. You're leaning forward, leaning forward, and you can lift one leg or both and find balance. Now, that's challenging, right? In a yoga class, sometimes we have blocks, sometimes we don't. But if you do, you can use them to help you with crow. So you place the blocks down. If you have two, use two because it's the height that you will be in when you are in the crow pose, kind of. Three, maybe. Two, better. You will be balancing on them, so make sure they're flat on each other. Bring your hands to the floor and bring your feet up onto the blocks. So you're on your toes. You're basically in the position you're gonna be in for crow. So you flatten your hands on the floor, spread your fingers wide, Place your knees into the space between your elbows and your armpits. Lift your butt off of your legs. Lean forward, look forward. And then if you'd like, lift off. So you can hang out here for as long or as little. So you can grab, you can lift, point your toes, wherever you need to be. So you're in the position. So even if you don't lift both feet off, this is practice, this is progress. Practice is how we do it. So if you're not doing it, you are doing it. Because when we try, we're doing it. Whether we lift our feet off the ground and balance on our hands is a whole nother story. But putting ourselves into this position, you're engaging your back muscles, your abdominal muscles, your chest muscles even, your arm muscles. You're working all the muscles to finally get into crow pose. So yes, it might not happen today, or it might happen today, either way. Practice makes you strong enough and it gives you the courage to do it. A lot of times with crow, it's fear. So a great way to do crow is to practice mini crow. I call it mini crow because we're lower to the ground. So basically, think of pinch of Mayurasana, forearm stand. We take our elbows down to the floor, we want an L shape in our arm, so the hands aren't coming together, we're not making fists, our hands are flat. And instead of coming up into dolphin pose or lifting our legs over our head in Pincha Mayurasana, we take our knees to this place right here and we're coming to crow, but low to the ground, our low crow. Tiptoe your feet up, bring your knees into the space above your elbows in that, the back of your arm. Lean forward, almost kiss the floor with your face, and slowly lift those feet up. You're in crow. It's so much easier to enter crow in baby crow because you're already so low to the ground. The fear factor is gone. So if you can practice being in crow here, super low to the ground, practically face to the floor, then you can get into your crow just like this. It's just a matter of letting go of the fear. When we let go of the fear, the fear is holding us back. What are we afraid of? Are you psychic? Do you know you're gonna hit your face on the floor and break your back? No, you don't, because you're not psychic. 
Practice low. Baby crow, elbows down. Almost kiss the floor, lift those feet, hold it, show yourself that you have this, you got this, you know what you're doing. And then bring your hands to the floor. Maybe climb up on your blocks. It's a great way to go. One block, two blocks, it doesn't matter. Lean it forward. You're jabbing your knees into your arms. Breathe. Don't stretch your face out and tense up. Relax. Lift your gaze and breathe. And keep practicing and you'll get it. So that's just a couple of tips that I have for you to get into your crow pose. Enjoy.